Michael Dixon, a man that had his character dragged through the mud by the Canadian justice system and eventually got his justice after fighting like crazy. The term justice is blind is supposed to mean that the legal system is objective and unbiased. But in this case, we see the police officer who's supposed to uphold this and the motto to protect and serve did not. Welcome back to Serial Chronicles and we have a story for you today. Before we go further, I ask you to like, subscribe and share our videos. If you do not like our content, let us know in the comment section and we'll make an attempt to correct it. Thank you and now on to the interrogation. Take a seat, I'll be back with you shortly, okay? Okay. Sorry, keep you waiting, Michael. That's okay. I'm tired. It's been, long two, it's been long two days. Uh, this is one of our interview rooms here mm -hmm. at uh, Hamilton Police, and this is audio and videotaped. Yeah, I noticed that. Okay, uh, you're obviously not a stupid man. Uh, video camera. Microphones? Microphones on the wall. So everything we say and do is recorded. Mm -hmm. That's for both of our benefit. Okay. It benefits everybody. Um, and I'm going to just discuss the situation with you. Great, okay. Okay, um, before I do that, something I have to read to you. Okay, and that is that uh, you're charged with break and enter. Mm -hmm. and that's what you're arrested for. And it's my duty to inform you that you have the right to retain and instruct counsel without delay. You have the right to telephone in private any lawyer that you wish. You have the right to free advice in private from a legal aid lawyer. If you are charged with an offence, you may apply to the Ontario Legal Aid Plan for Legal Assistance. The 1-800 number 265-0451. It's a toll-free number that will put you in contact with a legal aid duty counsel lawyer for free legal advice right now. Michael, do you understand that, that I've, what I've just told you? Yeah, and the person that you hooked me up with earlier, that's... It's kind of out of sequence because you've already had that legal okay. counsel. So I have to give you this right, okay. and it's best that I give it to you while it's all recorded. Do you wish to call a lawyer right now? No. Again, you already have. Yeah. You've spoken to a lawyer on the telephone. Okay. And you're charged with break and enter. Do you wish to say anything in answer to the charge? You are not obliged to say anything unless you wish to do so, but whatever you do say may be given in evidence. Well, that's fine, because what I have to say is to plead my innocence, so I don't mind that being. Okay. But uh, I'm just curious to know like how it got this far, because as I said to you earlier in the other room, the police officers that were stopped me on the street said that they had witnesses and I, well, in the, you, you wanted to talk to me about the events in the other room, yeah. and I told you that uh, that wasn't the right time and place to discuss it, remember right. that? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, there's one other thing I have to tell you before we discuss this, okay? Okay. And that's that if you've spoken to any police officer, or to anyone with authority, or if any such person has spoken to you in connection with this case, I want it clearly understood that I don't want it to influence you in making any statement. Basically, all I want is, all we're interested in is the truth. The statement, all we are interested in is the truth. Come on now, if he was, this man would not be sitting in custody. And if you've had any conversations with any other police officers, and they've, they've discussed this with you in any way, it should have no bearing on what, what the, the conversation that we have. Okay. 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 Um, why we're here is because earlier tonight, you were arrested for breaking out to a jewelry store on John Street South. 
Um, now, the, your innocence and guilt in this, quite frankly, uh, isn't an issue. Uh, the evidence I have is, fr frankly, conclusive and overwhelming. Okay? Conclusive and overwhelming? That statement was some BS. The report came in that the suspect was white, short, and wearing white sneakers with no socks. Mr. Dixon definitely does not fit that description. Um, so I'm not even going to ask you if you did it. What, I'm, what, what I have to ascertain here is what kind of guy you are. Okay. Um, whether, whether this is... You're like a serial burglar, and this is what you're doing all the time, or whether this is a, a one-off thing because of the power cut and everything that's going on tonight. That's that's all we're here for. Um, okay, I understand your position. Like I yeah. say here, I didn't do it, I didn't do it, and you've heard that a million times, I'm sure, in your career, but it's just... Ask me questions, that's all I can do is answer them, I guess. I've got no questions to ask you. I mean, why, why did okay. you do it? That's, that's basically, yeah, that's, that's my only question. But coming from that position, and, I'm, and since I'm saying I didn't do it, I really don't have an answer for you except to say I didn't do it. Well, I guess we haven't really got a... Really, a, a great amount of talking yeah. about. Yeah, it's it's like I said, the, whether you did it or not is an up for the discussion. Okay, well, um, it, it's really not. There's a number a number of witnesses. Great, one of whom had a video camera. Perfect. Yeah. Okay, yeah, then. Well, that's there. relieving. That's so, relieving. To be quite honest. When the officer said one person had a video camera, Dixon maintained his innocence by saying, "I'm relieved." and it showed that this police did not have shit. This is such a perversion of justice. Yeah. So view the video camera. I have. Okay. That's why your guilt isn't an in, in, in issue here. That doesn't even make sense to me. Because if I'm on the video camera, that doesn't make sense. You have a video camera that shows me? Yeah. That doesn't make sense. It makes perfect sense to me. Uh, we'll have to, I guess, I have no choice but to get a lawyer then. If this is the kind of thing you're going to well, go through is, with me. This, I isn't mean, go, this isn't going to go away. You, you're, you're charged with breaking in. You will be charged tonight. That. Okay. You will be going to court in the morning, uh, charged with breaking in with intent. Okay, that that's that's what's going to happen right now. Can I ask you something? Okay, are you just making this up that you have a video camera so you see how <laughs> I react? Because it goes no, 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 that really? if... You're saying, okay, let me hear me out for a second, please. If I am guilty, as you believe, because you have me on video camera, then okay, we'll go through the procedure. But I'm saying, I, I, you know, trying to call your bluff here because since I know I didn't do it, there's no way I can be on the video camera. Well, like I say, this isn't so game, it's not game of poker. Okay, well, I've got, I've got nothing to I'm gain not trying from to give you a hard time, all right? You know what? I've got nothing to gain from that either way, um, which is why I'm not asking you. Did you do it? I'm not trying to catch you out. I've got nothing to gain from that. Okay, well, I'm here to ask, do whatever you want to do. The circum I mean, the circumstances are that uh, three people who live across the street saw you uh, hiding in the doorway there, pulling the glass out, breaking the glass. When the police officers, the two uniform officers who uh, arrested you, pulled mm -hmm. up across the street from you, they saw you run off down the alleyway and then they described the police officer who arrested you chasing you on foot and that police officer then arrested you around the corner so this police officer recognizes me in green shorts and white t-shirt with a knapsack the witness all of the witnesses saw you running from the store being chased by the police officer who arrested you when did yeah. this take place? Like, how long before when, uh, I was arrested? Like, he ran immediately before seconds. Well, this isn't me. That's what I'm telling you. Okay, that's fine. Do, do you own a bicycle? No, not in, not here in Toronto. I do. Yes. Where do you live? Nine, in here, Hamilton, Nine Delaware. Okay, how long have you lived there? Uh, I moved in. I guess the year in August. Right. When in August? On oh, what date? I, yeah. I, I bought the house in April, April 30th and I didn't move in until August. 
So I got my first week of August, whatever it was. I can't Do you live there all the time? Yeah. So you you don't own a bicycle? No, not here in Hamilton. But there's one in. You have one in Toronto. Yes, I do. Do you have a another dwelling in in Toronto? Uh, no, I have another property, but I don't live there. Do you own it? Do you rent it? I own it. My mother lives there. Who owns that property? It's in my name. How long have you owned that property in Toronto? Uh, a year and a half. Almost two years now. Actually. So, do you, do you own the whole house in on Delaware, or yes? Okay, and do you obviously go to and from Toronto a lot? What do you yeah. work in Toronto? Yes, that's correct. What do you do there? I set up exhibits at trade shows. Right. How long have you been doing that? Since so eighty six. Can you describe to me, or just tell me what uh, what you're doing tonight before you got arrested? Oh, certainly. Yeah. Um, I was at work. I got the twelve thirty bus to Hamilton. They pulled in a station. I walked from the bus along, like, on the inside of the station there where the, the docks are, down the stairs, up uh, John Street, crossed John Street. There was an EMS vehicle there, if that helps to like, be a witness. But anyways, um, Got across John Street, walked maybe three paces, five paces, whatever, and then crossed on across Hunter to the north side of Hunter. Did you, and run, then, did you run at any point? No. I mean, there weren't any cars, so there's no reason for me to go quickly across the street. I mean... What, what happened when you were arrested by the officer? Oh, well, I, I could see figures, but it's dark, right? And... And I could sense like that person's coming towards me, and I was like, "Whoa, what's going on here?" And then the flashlight came up, and I thought this. And then there's more than one voice, and I thought something's up here. And then they didn't identify themselves as police officers, but I well, they were in uniform, in the dark, yes. And so then behind flashlights. So my point is, I cannot tell who's behind a flashlight. And then I could, but I could see a weapon, and. Uh, and I was kind of like, they're saying, get down ground. I'm kind of like, uh, okay, like, cooperate. And then I'm thinking, I don't know the police officers. And I said as such, like, who are you? Are you the police? And he's like, like, what do you think? That was the response. And I got on the ground. And I was like, police so all where, around me. Where, where, where exactly were you when you were arrested? Imagine, let's, can we do it on the board here? Sure. How's that? Want me to do it? You set up exhibits, you're probably more artistic than me. When you, um... I'll maybe draw the layout the of the, the streets yeah. and maybe a dotted line that's your path. How's that? Sure. And uh, another dotted line where the, where the police officers come from. Okay, this is the, the tunnel, the bridge. Okay. And come at the bus station. So which way steps. is north towards the lake? Uh, the no, north. Okay. And so I came here. The car, the EMS truck or whatever ambulance it was. Was there it went off, crossed here, and crossed here. That's it. Okay. Did you come straight from the bus? Yeah, absolutely. Like I even looked. I said, maybe I should take a cab. I'm like, oh no. Okay. So you came straight off of the bus. Yeah. And that's it. Like the bus is. Ooh, that's it. It's so like I was off the bus. Like maybe what? Two minutes. So how how long before you were arrested did you were you off of the bus? That's what I'm saying. Like from there to there, it's like not even two minutes. You uh, go any stop or do anything uh, in the uh, in the interview? I was walking. I was trying to see in the dark and questioning. You know, like, am I going to get mugged? And that's about it. So where where were you, where were you when you first became aware of the the people who subsequently oh, were well, police officers? Okay, well, there's a building here in the corner. Uh, uh, that's a, like I got an entrance to whatever parking or something. And there's another building here. There might have been some. I think I, yeah. Actually, I was walking. I saw a fla flashlight or something mm -hmm. there, and I can hear hollering. And then someone else is here, and that person, or maybe I don't know, maybe that person ran. I'm not sure. But, uh, anyways, I was approached here. Okay. Okay. Great. Thanks very much. Take a seat. What uh, What time did did you get on the bus in Toronto? 
twelve thirty. I'm not trying to catch you out. It's just no, I didn't. I didn't catch you the first time. The more information I give uh, you, I think is the better. And what time did it arrive in uh, Hamilton? Well, I didn't look at the clock, but usually an express is about approximately forty-five, fifty minutes. The traffic was good, but we did. There was a guy on who wanted to get off of Burlington, so he did pull off the highway to some intersection, not the station itself. We can see that Mr. Dixon is trying to help the officer understand what happened, even though it is not going to change the officer's mind. And I believe the, the driver's name is Bobby. Um, and there's about four of us on the bus. So I would say it was less than an hour. Right. Okay. Like I said, on the information that I've got, you, you're going to be charged tonight with breaking in. Mm -hmm. However, I do have a duty to make sure that the truth mm -hmm. is... The tr basically, the truth is paramount, and the, tr the true version mm -hmm. of events is paramount. And I have a duty um, to investigate all of this, and I will investigate... Okay. I assure you I'll investigate this story thoroughly. Mm -hmm. And uh, hopefully... Um, I'll be able to find something here, right. which will either prove or disprove, uh -huh. okay. the, the, you know, what we've discussed tonight. Yeah. Okay. He did not investigate or do shit to prove or disprove the matter. He even went as far up to the date of his civil trial, saying that he had the correct man. The problem is the speed at which this is going. Yeah. You know, like when I was on the ground, I think, go quickly to the terminal. I have like six or so guys around me. You know, like, talk to the bus driver, right. you know? Like, I, like I can't, I mean, I can't comment on things that okay, happened this I know, scene, unfortunately. But, um, but now I'm... I'm left kinda, hanging, right? Now you I'm know? looking at this. I mean, this is the, basically, on the evidence I've got, this is the only course of events that uh, can take place right now. But I, I will certainly make sure that this is looked into thoroughly. Okay, uh, great. I, I can give you my word on that. That's my duty. That's, that's what I have to okay, do. Okay, I trust you will. Okay. But I'm just saying, it's a shame that... I don't even know where I'm staying tonight, like what horrors are ahead of me, but I mean, this is okay. Uh, just Wait for me a second, I just have to uh, check on one thing. Okay. 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 Uh, one thing that's come to light. When you were arrested, you had uh, an, an object in your hand. A ratchet, yeah. Can, can you tell me about that? It was in my pocket, and to be quite honest, I was thinking I should have something in my hand <laughs> because I was walking home, which doesn't sound very nice, but that's the why it's there. I'm not and criticizing you for that. And that's it. That's so the tool I use at use. That's like a quite common. Okay. I even have spares in my bag, yeah. You know? so okay. So when that's you're, the reason. Yeah. You know. So when the officer approached you, I had it in my hand. You had a ratchet, and it's just a tool. Was it like an Allen key? Yeah. Thing? There's a like, like a, a corner key, socket what I, ratchet. Exactly. What I have at work, we have aluminum. Uh, I think it was a big erector set. We build frames and stuff that have a lock, and it's a ratchet. And sometimes corners are like 45. You need that corner key. I understand that. Anyways, that's the tool, and that's why I had it in my hand. Okay, have you ever had any, uh, do you know any people who live I know on John Street there? Who might I don't know anybody. I know like three people in Hamilton, period. Okay, so you don't know people who live on John Street no. there? No. So people would have no reason to make anything up that you can think of? No, not at all. Just something we have to eliminate? Yeah, cool. Okay. okay. Do you have anything uh, you'd like to ask me? Uh, about this? A million things, yeah. Um, what's, okay, first of all, what's the next, where am I going from this seat? From here, you'll go, basically, you'll go to, it's three, ten after three in the morning now. Uh -huh. 
Yeah, in the morning, first thing in the morning, you'll go to court since okay. the court building's open, and uh, I won't be asking for custody for you. I'll be asking for a conditional release. Basically, you're, I'm asking that you'll be released on a form of bail. Okay. Um, with the charges pending, the charge being break and enter. Okay. Uh, um, sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. I was just wondering, can I make a phone call? Because I'm supposed to be at work at 8 a.m. Uh, you're not going to be able to be at work at 8 a.m. I know I'm not going to be able to, but I like to phone ahead. I can arrange that uh, that you get the phone call to let someone know that you're not going to be at a place. Yeah. Okay. Okay. We know we're not in the we're not in the business of. Uh, Trying to get people well, in trouble with their all employers. This money, no. like, if I get, you know, no, it, so. and, you know, it's we're not in the business of getting people fired, that kind mm -hmm. of stuff. Okay. okay, well, that's one concern, and so I'm hanging out in that room till ten. Or no, whatever. we'll be taking you downstairs. Okay. Uh, to a, a larger custody facility, which you have downstairs. That's well, okay. it's not the most pleasant place <laughs> in the world, but it's only for a few hours. Okay. Okay. Uh, from from court tomorrow, what happens there? I don't know. The, the Justice of the Peace makes a decision. Okay. I can only tell you what I'll be requesting. Uh, and that's okay. a conditional release. Well, that sounds lenient. I mean, you could... Well, the, the, the case isn't up for trial. Uh, I don't know how to engage these things, but... I'm asking that you that you be released on some form, some conditions. Okay. Okay? Um, that's it. And after that, we get noticed in the mail? or like. No, you, you'll be served. You'll be given your court date tomorrow. Okay. Okay. All right. Um, I've always ad I've already advised you. You know your your right to legal yeah, advice, that yeah, kind exactly. of stuff, well, and you're aware of it. I have to because I don't know a thing about this. So. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and I'll make sure that you have my information if you have any other questions or your lawyers any questions. Mm -hmm. then, uh, then you can contact me here. Okay. Well. I'm and kind I will, of look, into, I will look into all I, of this. I trust you will. Yeah. You will. I trust you will. Um, you know, I want to. I'll make sure we got the whole picture. Okay. Okay. Well, thank you, I guess. <laughs> okay. Uh, you're not in an enviable position, and, uh, you know. I understand so. the like the process. I just, I'm not satisfied with it. <laughs> That's what I'm saying, you know. Uh, I, I don't, I don't and expect that you're going to be happy with it. You know, and I'm thinking, I have no disrespect to you, but I know someone sitting in this chair has probably lied to you a million times, right? So I'm thinking, what can I do to uh, convince you? I try I to try give you the information. Like you've, you've, been, you've, you've, been, you've been very good with me, and I, I try and treat everybody as an individual. Okay. And my main aim is the two things is that you get your rights mm -hmm. uh, that you're, you're entitled to under the Constitution of Canada, mm -hmm. and that uh, you're treated decently, and uh, that the truth comes out. Yeah, Basically, well, just that, that's just being doubted until proven innocent. That's, I guess, the premise here, right? From my point of view. Okay, so that, that's that's my the, the the things that I look for. I know. Okay, cool. Well, you know. And I can assure you that's uh, I'm interested in nothing but those things. All right, well, I'll we'll give you both got the same goal. Let's put it that okay, way. okay. So it's uh, three thirteen in the morning on right. Friday, the fifteenth of August, and uh, I'm going to be concluding this interview now. Okay. 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 So you want to just come with me? Okay. Mr. Dixon was very open and respectful with his answers towards the cop, and it is a shame to see the cop abuse his power straight to the end. Justice prevailed and Mr. Dixon won his case. A Superior Court judge has issued a staying condemnation of the Hamilton Police Department, high-handed, arbitrary, and highly reprehensible misconduct, and how it treated a Hamilton man arrested at gunpoint and thrown into jail for a crime he did not commit. Justice Kim Carpenter Gunn ruled in favor of a lawsuit against the Hamilton Police Services and Officer Oliver Mann, Christian Balloon, and Jason Leak. She awarded $46,000 to Michael Dixon, wrongfully arrested and jailed on August 15, 2003, because the arresting officers thought that he had tried to break into a downtown jewelry store. The fact is, Dixon was sitting on a go bus on his way home from work in Toronto at the time. This is truly an abuse of power. Thank you for watching and we look forward to seeing you on our next video.